Hello. Mia and me are on what used to be my favourite walk. Mia still likes it. It's uh, the reason I like it is because it. it I think it's. Uh, it reminds me of a a time. Well, when I was a kid, I remember going for a walk once, and there was this country track. Uh, and a big old barn, an old, oh, not like that modern thing there. Although I don't really mind that. But um, there was there was a goat down this track, and in the field there used to be cows, and uh, there were all flowers growing at the side of it. And I, it just it's just a nice memory for me. And now, and that's why I like this track so much. It leads down to the railway, but um, it's spoiled now. It's spoiled by rubbish dumping. Which is awful. Rubbish everywhere it's sent. cattle were. I even like that old rusty old iron gate or fence because although it's you know, not wooden it's not traditional it's still rusty and fairly old looking and look at the lovely brickyard but now we've got rubbish there's no excuse for it. I read that um, the reason people do this is because they can't get into the tips or they can't afford the price of the tip. Well, I'm sorry, but that's just not an excuse. There's no excuse for that. But anyway, yeah, you can see why I like this old lane. I suppose it's a bridle path. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't get called a bridle path, it gets called a footpath. Look, more tyres, aren't they? Horrible, selfish people who do that. As I say, Mia doesn't mind too much. But look, polystyrene. Polystyrene will probably be there forever. You can't blame the farmer pushing it to one side. He has to pay for that to get taken away. Yeah, so I love this country lane, but now things have changed. They're making stuff. They're making a nursery. I don't know what they're going to grow there. Probably flowers. Flowers are nice things to have. But wildflowers are better. Naturally grown flowers are better. You see that, um, those greenhouse erections they're putting up there? That wasn't there yesterday. That's been done in just, honestly, they must have been working late last night. I can't understand how they do that so quickly. That um, field where the greenhouses were, you could look over there where you can just about make out there was a lovely view of the trees. I could um, I could walk right round that. I could walk right round. I could walk down this path, right round the farm, and come out 
over there somewhere, walk along the edge of that field and get back to here. No, you can't. You can't get along the edge of the field anymore. There used to be deer grazing in that field. Very often you'd look across and see a herd, almost a herd of deer. And the worst thing really, I mean the deer got plenty of places to go around here, but the worst thing is that down in that, where, where I'm pointing the camera now, there were plovers nesting or lapwings I think it's the same thing, lapwings. They make that squirrely noise as they go. I used to love that. I used to love watching them. And you know, the, um, the contractor who worked this field used to actually mark their nests out with canes so that he didn't run over them in his tractor. The flowers didn't mind, they still came. They won't be coming anymore. never see another plover in that field or anything else and you see how flat it is well that field used to go downhill just like this track they've moved loads of soil they dug a great big reservoir and they put the soil from there and they flattened all this field out so it's nice and level for their greenhouses but you know Let's not be too negative. There'll be plenty of jobs going, I expect. Unless it's all automated, like a lot of them are. So yeah, let's not be too negative. You know, some someday someone will work in there and feed their families. So, you know, it's quite nice, isn't it, in that respect? Not. But what positives? Let me tell you what happened. Just about, I reckon, half a mile as the crow flies, there were similar, very, very large greenhouses, nurseries, flowers, flower growers. They knocked them all down a few years ago and they built loads of houses there. So now they've had to build this to replace it. It's all madness, isn't it? The world's gone bloody mad. Maybe there's too many people in the world. But um, there is this remnants of this hedgerow here, which, you know, I'd love to get at that and layer it. I reckon it could be brought back to a nice hedge. But uh, as it is, it's still quite lovely, the birds, birds still flit around in it and the rabbits live down there. Yeah, so... And they've, you know, they've got a little plantation this side. That's about 20 years old, that's all that is. I mean, it's only there because it was um, set aside land, I think, and uh, the farmer could get a grant for planting trees plus his set aside money so that's how these things exist which is well that's nice I like a bit of woodland and look they put a fence there to keep us out I wouldn't want to go in there anyway so yeah but let's be happy. Let's um, let's enjoy the train going past. I like trains. And let's look this way, over my shoulder, see the berries growing and the trees. And let's not look that way again. And here we come down to the end. See that train? That train has been painted in the old traditional British rail colours. Just that one train. 
just to mark the um i don't know i was talking the train driver had stopped at the signal i was talking to him and he said do you like like my new train color and I, I didn't know what he meant at first and then he told me and i realized oh yes it's gone back to the original old colors just that one train and uh i wish they were all that color you know it's much um more muted much more in keeping with running through the countryside um, see, I suppose trains are, uh, well, they're a modern hindrance in a way, aren't they? A blight on the landscape, that railway line when it was built. Can you see that dragonfly? Now, I know what that is, that's a southern hawker. He's very common around here. I don't know if you can see it. And, uh, here we are, and we won't go over the railway today, Mia. Because it's a bit hot out, isn't it? The hawthorn berries, see? We're getting into the, the season of mists and mellow fruitfulness. Blackberries. Old man's beard. old man's beard. I think it's clematis really isn't it? You probably know that. I do not like these things. I can't remember. They're sticky. They stick to your clothes. Yeah. And the dreaded Japanese knotweed. Oops. Let's look away from that. Look up at the hawthorn. Ah, so that's our little wonder. There's the dragonfly again. There is a big reservoir here. Oh, actually, behind this trees, there's a little pond. Well, a fairly big pond, actually. It's a, it's a bit of a chore getting to it. But it's a nice place once you're there to sit quietly and meditate. Those blackberries are all dying off. That's very early. Wonder why they haven't been taken by the birds. Perhaps all that over there has disturbed all the wildlife around. We could hear it from half a mile away when the big old trucks were working. Just a little bit too high for me. Cheers. Right. I'm going to get on home now. I've got to um, finish painting my gilet with um, my YouTube advert on it. Mia, come and say goodbye. Mia, this is when Mia smiles a lot when she's out walking. Mimi. It's the only time I see her change her expression. Goodbye for now. Take care. It's a lovely day. Bye-bye.